So Instagram and Facebook went down. Were you in the... Finally back on Instagram. Man, it feels great. Man. A lot of you guys freaked out, though. I bet you guys are all like, Oh, I can't get on Instagram. I can't get on Facebook. Oh, no. Oh, my life's over. Dude, they're right. Like, I was in the middle of posting, and I wasn't even able to share what I wanted to post. But thankfully, I'm back. I'm back, and I'm able to post, so... I want to share what I learned this week and what I've done, so let's look at what I've done. I learned how to do a crazy uh, back 180 nose grind pop out. That was, I don't even know I did. Let's look at that. They sent a package last week at one and I didn't even expect to get this big of a package. I thought it was going to be like a really tiny box or something. This is crazy. Dude, thank you guys. Thank you, Chris Roberts. Thank you, Roger. Thank you, Kelly. Damn. Feels like I got sponsored or something or like a, a sponsor sent me something, which is crazy. Damn. Back 40 beanie? What? This is tight. For your drinks? It's all wobbly and one. I'll eat that. Bronson? A nylon flag? They got a lot of product. They just gave away. Shoe shield? What the heck is this? Shoe shield? Clear grip. Dude, I haven't even tried clear grip tape since it came out. So that, I'm, I'm gonna use this later on or something. Not, not anytime soon, but. Mob, is this the grip gun? Like whenever your board gets dirty? Clean, what? Where you clean your grip tape? What is this, wax? Curb killer wax? Sure, oh. LSD? Let's skate, dude, crooked? Look at this, what is this? <laughs> what the heck? That's tight, I'm gonna have these in the car. Mob shirt, size large. Carlos Ribeiro signed board? What the hell? These guys are crazy. Damn. They really just gave me a signed skateboard. That's going on the wall. Dude, thank you, Nine Club. If you guys haven't even heard of the Nine Club, go check it out. It's freaking amazing. It gives you so much information on skateboarding because their guests provide the information within the history that's gone on. Like Tony Hawk's been on there, Riley Hawk, uh, 
Jamie Thomas, uh, Cairo Foster, Louis Barletta, Mark Johnson. So many good skateboarders have been on. Sean Malto, Nija, Lil Wayne has been on. Go support the nine club. Dang, let's... Dude, they hooked it up fat, like... Alright, so we're here with Jeremy and well I just got in the park but we got a serious bet going on. We'll we'll I'll talk about it later on. Right now, time to time to get to business. <laughs> That's what friends do. A lot of you guys don't know, but I've been knowing Jeremy for like 10 years already. We've been through a lot. We've seen people get shot. We we got threatened for with knives. We got stranded out in Vegas. We we've been sleeping at skate parks. We both didn't have a car for the longest, and it feels only right to hand him the car. So, so I played Jeremy a game of skate for my car basically. But he didn't take it too serious because he already knew that I'm basically still got a set price on it. I just wanted to see if he'd go and give me a good shot. You know what I mean? But it's whatever. Being the homie, I'm, I definitely hooked up my friend because he deserves it. I've known him for such a long time. And I've been in the position where I need a car. So that game of skate was honestly kind of pointless. But you know what? It's all good. I just wanted to show people. I don't know what I wanted to show people. You can make that judgment right there. But yeah, this vehicle, I want to say some things about it. This car, I learned how to drive in this car really good. I had my first accident in this car. I'm not going to lie. Uh, my kid pooped in the back seat. There was a lot of things that happened in this car. Um, a lot of arguments, a lot of moments with friends. Uh, there's just so much that this car means. And as Jeremy was driving away with my, well, not me, my, I can't even say my car anymore. As he was driving away with his new car, not that it was new because it had bird poop, but as he was driving away with it, it felt so strange. Like, I felt like I was losing a part of me. Like, it really did feel that way. Like, this car went on so many adventures. I went on so many skate missions with friends. And to see it go away, like, not even be mine anymore, it was such a crazy feeling, like, letting go a piece of my life that I built up with and all I can really say is hopefully this car helps my friend and aids him in whatever journeys await him with it and yeah I I don't know how to end this video really but good luck man whoever has a car and you let go and if you've ever felt this let me know because it was so weird. I even had to uh, ask my stepdad, like, it felt so weird. And he told me the same thing. He's like, I felt like that before when I sold my first car. And that was my first car. So it was just crazy, man. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and sayonara till the next one. And one last thing. I'll be in South Korea in May 11th through the 19th. So if you're from South Korea, what's up, dude? Let's skate.